Hello and welcome back to another video. So I've had quite a few people lately asking me how how do I get products for review? So I thought I'd create a quick video and show you the, the way I go about approaching companies and then what I actually say to them uh, for what I want to review. So let's get on with it. Okay, so just a couple of things before you actually start out uh, trying to get products from people, you have to be doing it for the right reasons. So if you're out there, if you just want to get products for free, uh, companies will see through that and that's not the approach. You want to um, be asking companies for products to review because that's what you enjoy. You enjoy technology and you want to get into the re reviewing business on YouTube. So with that out of the way, the next thing you need to do is actually think about, well, hold on a sec, who do I want to approach to um, to create reviews for? But that also depends on how big you are on YouTube. Now, I'm not massive by any stretch of the imagination. Now, I started out uh, making technology uh, web design videos. And then gradually over time, I decided to move away from that. And I already had a certain amount of subscribers, a certain amount of views, which has definitely helped me in getting products so early on um, from doing product reviews. So if you've only got a small amount of subscribers, I would recommend you start off approaching uh, mobile phone companies, things like that, to get uh, cases, iPad cases, stands, all these sorts of things. If you want to try and get things like um, Drobos, for example, somebody asked me about that, uh, Yoni Tech Vids, I think it was, um, and you've only got a very small amount of subscribers, they're just going to say no because you don't have enough people uh, on your channel. So with that being said, I'll show you the approach that I take uh, when I go go to websites and try and find out who I need to contact. So if I open up Safari, I've got a few websites open here. So this was just from a Google search. I typed in iPhone 4 cases and I came, came to this website here, which is casefun.co.uk. So as you can see here, they sell iPhone cases, iPod, Blackberry, HTC, everything. Now this is a perfect starter uh, for things to be reviewing. So what you want to do when you come to the website, you need to go to the contact section. Now, nine times out of 10, there's always a contact link in the top right hand corner. So as you can see here, we've got to contact us. If it's not up there, if you come all the way to the bottom of a website, you'll normally find contact links down at the bottom as well. So if we, in this case, we're going to go to contact us. And then you can see straight away, uh, we've got some email addresses that we can, we can actually email. Now, we don't want to really email track my order, so we'll ignore that one. Inquiries is definitely something we want to be considering and also sales as well. Um, so that's that's it. Literally, it took two minutes to find the email address of a company and you can send off your email. Now, what I did when I approached Drobo was to actually go to the Drobo website, which you can see here. And again, like I said, if the contact isn't up here in the top uh, right hand corner, it will be at the bottom. So if we look down here, we've got corporate and at the very bottom here, we have contact. So if we click on that, and there you go, it's as simple as that. We've now got all the information we need. So we've got corporate headquarters, we've got the European sales office, um, we've got technical support, partner program, we've got technical support, all that sort of thing. And what I actually did was I emailed this email address here. Now, if you're thinking, great, I'm going to email that straight away. Again, bear in mind what I said earlier. If you've only got, say, 20, 50 or 100 subscribers, they're pretty much probably going to say no. Uh, you need to build up a little bit more. So try the, the case route. So get some cases from people and whatnot. But if you're a little bit bigger and you want to try it, by all means, try it. Uh, grab the email address and you can send off your email. So another example, just a quick one. Uh, if you wanted to get stuff from Logitech, for example. Again, again, there's no contact up here. But if we come to the bottom of the site, a lot of big sites will have two sections. They'll have a contact section and they'll also have a press section. Now, for the bigger sites, I go to the press section because they're the, the, that's the department that will be dealing with press, obviously. So in here, we're going to click on press. And if we come down the page, you can see here media and community relations and general press inquiries. And that's it. We've got the email address for Logitech. So just think of the possibilities of the things you can get from Logitech. So again, all you need to do is grab that email address and send off your email. So that's the approach I take to actually gathering the information. Now, it does take time. You can't sort of get a one list from somewhere and get all these magical email addresses. You do have to put the work in to get the contacts. 
Okay, so you've done your research, you've found out who you need to contact, you've got that email address. Now, what do you actually say to the company? So I've just drafted a quick sort of example of what you could say to a company. This isn't exactly what I use, but it's quite similar. So for example, what I always do is I always put dear and then either the company name or if you do have a contact name, put their, their name in so they know it's a personal email and you haven't sent like a generic email. Don't put dear who it may concern and then just send the same email to like 10 companies all at the same time because they will know that it's a generic sort of email and you need to make it a bit more personal so they know you've made the effort and the time to actually create it. So for example, we could put here, so dear, I don't know, Logitech Press or dear Drobo Sales, Drobo Press, whatever you want to put, just put that at the top. And then in this example, I put, my name is Matt Saunders and I'm a product reviewer on YouTube and I'm emailing you today about reviewing uh, and then put the product name in and potentially put a link to the product on the company's website so they know what you're talking about and what you want to review. And then you also need to say um, what you can offer them. They're, good, they're gonna give you a free product. What, do you, what are you gonna give to them? So just state what you have. So in this example, I've put, I have a, a 300 subscribers on YouTube and I'm getting around 10,000 video views a month and I feel my audience would really love to see your products. And then what you'd want to do then is uh, put a link to your channel so they can actually see um, what your channel's like. Now make your videos as professional as you can and that will go down really well with the company because it's their products, they want it to be shown off to the best of its ability. Also put any links in there to any reviews you've done already that have got quite a few views, that will also help. And then I've put thanks for your time and I look forward to hearing from you and obviously sign your name at the bottom. So this is just a very basic draft of the email. Now you can take this, you can use this, but adapt it, make it a bit more personal. Uh, and like I said, don't make the email really generic because if you do that, if you put dear who it may concern and don't put any any special links to the website or anything like that, they're going to know that's a generic email and you've sent it out to say 10 people all in one go. You'll have more success if you tailor it, make it personal to the company, uh, you'll get better results. And then once you've done that, just sit back and hopefully you will get some products in for review. Now, bearing in mind, if you do start getting some products in, uh, they may want them back. So going back to my earlier point when I said, don't do this if you want free stuff. Do it because you love it. If they, for example, I'm doing the mobile phone from Sony, that has to go back. I don't get to keep that. That's a £360 phone. So if I could keep it, fantastic, but I can't. That has to go back. And again, another example, Kingston SSD. They're sending that out to me. Again, that has to go back. So I'm starting to notice now things have to go back because they're getting more expensive. Now, when I started out doing like cases and iPad stands, I get to keep, I got to keep those, which was great. But the bigger stuff has to go back. Now, I was quite fortunate with Drobo. They actually gave me one to keep and review and one to give away. So that was fantastic. I'm quite lucky there. Um, so again, you may find the same thing when you approach different companies. So that was just my sort of quick video on what I do to try and get products from people. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Please share it as the more I grow, the more stuff I can give to you guys and the better it will be. So as usual guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.